Hey there, this is Alex Profile with Zeta Sky. In this training video, I'll be showing you how to sync your files from a Teams channel and from a SharePoint website to OneDrive. I'm going to start with Teams. So currently, I am in the demo team in the general channel. Now, this post tab here is where you'll normally have your conversations, but if you look right next to it, there's a files tab. On this tab, it will show all the files that are part of this general channel. If I want to sync this to my OneDrive so that I can access this, the files through File Explorer, all I have to do here is click sync. It will pop up. And you'll see this little notification down here telling me that I'm currently syncing the folder now. The first time you do this, there is a chance you might get another message where it says you need to give permissions to OneDrive to display the status icons. If that pops up, click on the notification and then click yes to allow the sync icons. Those are useful because it will tell you if the file is synced or not. Now, right now, you don't see any sync status, but if I right-click Refresh, you can see it here where there's this little cloud. And that'll help you know if the file is on your local computer or only available on the cloud. We'll go over that more in another video. But you'll notice that I have this new text document here, and that's the same new text document that I have in Teams. So now it is synced to my local file explorer. So let's say I want to do the same thing on a SharePoint site that is not showing up in Teams. Well, it's pretty much the same thing. I go to the SharePoint site, I go to the Documents section, I'm already here, and I have the same Sync button. So I go and click that. The first time you do this, you'll get this prompt saying it, uh, the website wants to open up OneDrive. When you do this, I suggest selecting the Always Allow and then Open. That way you won't have to answer that prompt in the future. And you'll see that it's now syncing SharePoint demo documents. If I click on this, I can see that there's a Word doc here. And it's the same Word document that's in the SharePoint site. So now that's syncing to my local computer. Let's say that I'm not currently in Teams or in uh, the SharePoint site, and I want to access that data. Well, I can simply open a File Explorer. And on the left side of File Explorer, you should see your company name here and a, a couple little buildings. So this is where the SharePoint sites and team channels sync. It's separate from your individual files, which is in OneDrive dash company name. It's just company name and has this different icon. Now you'll see here that I have the demo team general channel synced. If I go into here, you see that new text document. You also see that I have the SharePoint demo site and the document section within that site synced. I have that Word document here. So now I can access these files through File Explorer or through other applications on my computer easily, just like I'm used to before moving to the cloud. If you have any questions or issues, please let us know.